In this lesson, we will learn how to implement application level security. We've already built the GUI for this application and we saw that we have a, a menu with login. Now basically, we did not really uh, program the login in the right way. In fact, uh, we just see what the login form uh, gives us back, which is this one. Uh, it's either will give us a uh, dialogue result, uh, uh, result that is OK or retry or cancel. Um, uh, what we want to do is to check the username and password here against uh, database records. So uh, to do that, we will create a new table in our database, the customer's database. And this is the user's table. And in it, we will have uh, uh, three columns or three fields, the username, a password, and a role. We will see that we can use the role to uh, specify what the user can see based on their role. Think of the portal, for example. In the portal, when you log in, uh, your role is a student, so you see the student options. Uh, as a teacher, I see the teacher's option and management will see other options. So basically, this is um, uh, the application's intelligence looking at the role of the user and displaying the right options and menus and so on. So basically, our user's uh, table is made of three fields, text fields, the username, the password, and the role. And we will just have uh, two dummy data guest with a password guest123 and samer with a password samer123. Okay? Now moving on to uh, Visual Studio, what we want to do is to program the OK button. Now when we're dealing with database application, we learn how to add a data source. So in case you haven't, you can simply go and add the data source for your application in the same way. But I have it already here. I will simply show it to you. So basically, if you remember, we go through the steps. Now, take a look here at the connection string. Because we will be doing things manually, programmatically, we will need this connection string. So what I will do, I will copy it. Okay? Now, next, if you're doing this for the first time, we will choose all the three tables because we will be using them. Of course, what's relevant now in this application is the user's table with its fields. Okay? And finish. Okay. Well, we learn how to do things using the wizard. And like I said, today we will be using... Uh, uh, manual implementation of uh, database access. So to do that, I would need to import something into my uh, application that allows me to use the database connections and the database commands and so on. And this is similar to, you've probably seen it in, in Java, where we have the same concept also. So here I'm going to import using the keyword imports system dot data dot OLE database okay or DB now that I imported this class that I can use I can use it within my program so you see that I cleared already my OK button we need to clear it and start fresh because earlier we just uh, used some um, uh, simplistic implementation and we said if username is ABC and password is ABC okay so I will go ahead and declare a variable called connection string or con string so con string as a string okay this one, in fact, will save the connection string that I just copied, okay? But I will declare another uh, variable called con. This will be my actual connection. And the data types, therefore, will be OLE DB 
connection. And I wouldn't have been able to do that unless I've imported this. So that's why I imported that class. So that will be a database connection. I will also need a command. The command is the one that we will use to execute our SQL. Okay? So the command as OLE oops OLE DB command. So again part of this OLE database uh, class. Okay? Now that I have these three variables, a connection string, a connection and a command I should be able to create a manual connection to the database. First of all, your con string is a string that will simply hold the connection string that we got it. We copied it. Now we need to get rid of the double quotes here. So I will get rid of that. Okay? and put it outside because a connection string as you see is the data type string and therefore from the beginning to the end so basically we just making sure that it's correct otherwise if we've kept the double quotes it would have thought that it starts here and it ends here okay so we just need to fix that otherwise this is just saying that the database provider is simply a Microsoft Jet Engine, which basically is saying that it's an access database, and that's the location. Okay? Of course, the location does not have to be the same for you, and have that in mind. All right. Now that I know the connection string, I can use the connection itself. So I'm going to say con is equal to a new OLEDB connection and I'm going to pass this what the con string so basically this class uh, this constructor will open for me a connection based on the information available in the con string okay now that I have that I will say Go ahead and open. So I will use the open method to open the connection so that I can start using the database. All right. So this is the first uh, step. The second step, I have, to, I have to think about the command itself. This is a SQL command or SQL command. And basically what I want to do is to choose a record from the table that matches my username and password and to do that I will say select everything from the users table where username is equal to what's in the text box username and password is equal to what's in the password text box okay so let's do that command is equal to new OLEDB command and I'm going to pass it in here the actual SQL command so I will say look it's expecting from you a string which is the SQL command itself so I will say select everything from users so this is the users table you have to be careful that you use the right table name where the username again this is the has to be the correct field name otherwise you get a, a, an error is equal to at this point remember when we did it visually we use the question mark we can do it here also this is saying I'm expecting a parameter so I will show you how to add the parameter to the command in a bit where username is equal to something and also the password field from the database table is equal to something. This something, of course, will be passed 